Welcome to the third section of this course. In the previous section, we discussed the phases of pen testing and so that the first phase, reconnaissance, is one of the most important phases that an attacker or pen tester performs before initiating an attack against a target system. In this section, we will dive deeper and discuss about the reconnaissance phase. Reconnaissance might take a lot of time to perform it properly. We will see how to gather initial information about a target system, how to identify live hosts, how to discover the open ports found in the target system, and finally, how to uncover the running services along with the operating system of our target machine. Before launching any attack or even using any of these tools, a hacker usually performs a reconnaissance or footprinting action. In this video, he will gather as much valuable information as possible, information that will come in handy later, when the attack is performed. Gathering accurate information is critical and usually hackers spend more time in this phase compared to other phases of the attack. As we mentioned before, there are two types of reconnaissance, passive and active reconnaissance. Passive reconnaissance can be performed by using publicly available tools like social media websites for instance, where the hacker can gather valuable information about his target. Google search engine is another website commonly used to perform passive reconnaissance, but probably more useful will be the Google Hacking Database project. This website lets you run pre-generated queries on Google that will allow you to identify vulnerable services or servers. I highly encourage you to take a look and poke around with it, but keep in mind that accessing someone else's computer without authorization is illegal. And as we mentioned social media websites, Facebook is another website that a hacker can use to obtain more information about his target. In the same manner, LinkedIn can be used by an attacker to obtain information about the technologies used by a company just by looking at one of its employees job or qualifications. And the final example, Glassdoor, a widely used website that contains job postings, can be used by an attacker in order to discover the type of services, applications or operating systems that a target company might be using. Kali Linux offers a variety of tools that lets you automate the process of obtaining this information from several sources like the ones that we mentioned earlier, or even more. One such tool is Maltigo. In order to be able to use the tool, you will have to sign up for a free account. Maltigo is using something called Entities, so we can see on the left hand side and entity palette. This will let you draw out relationships between entities. An entity can be a person, a website, a location and so on. In this example, what I'm going to do is to use the domain entity in order to obtain more information about the google.com domain. Maltigo uses something called transforms to build a map with information related to our entity. Let's say that I want to use the Shodan transform, which by the way is another service that can be used to search for vulnerable services or devices. Shodan is a search engine for small devices like the Internet of Things devices that might be vulnerable to common or default password attacks. As soon as we have the information, we can dive deeper and request more and more info about the domain that we are interested in. For instance, let's find out its IP address by using the resolve IP address transform. And this is how we've been able to use a graphical tool like Maltigo to gather information about a target. 
You can also grab information about people and you can start conducting social networking transforms and connect the dots with the information that you already have. The other type of reconnaissance is active reconnaissance. By using this, we will interact with the target by transmitting network packets and waiting for a response from the target. This type of reconnaissance is more invasive and can be detected by intrusion detection systems or other tools and hardware used to detect and prevent hacking attacks. Kali Linux also offers a few tools that can be used to perform active reconnaissance, 